Welcome back. Once again, we're at 12 Wings. I said I had a new location in mind for the Air Master. And here it is. This is our storage room. And uh, right now we're storing construction supplies in it. Uh, we're moving a lot of things around right now, so it's actually comparatively empty. It's normally a lot fuller. After we're done with renovations, and who knows when that'll be, we may convert part of it into a laundry room or something to that effect. It will remain at least partially a storage room and uh, well, for building maintenance and cleaning supplies and things of that nature. So here's the Air Master. First fan right when you come in here, right above what is supposed to be workbenches, but right now are resting places for ceiling tiles. And uh, hopefully this will be where it remains. Then I needed another 48 inch white fan to go with it. And pretty much all I had was this Leslie Lock here. More accurately a 48 inch off-white fan. I would have preferred something 3 blade to uh, match better but I didn't have anything 3 blade. I had this and a uh, white New Tone Pro Line, the four blade version. And so, seeing as we already have a New Tone, I figured this was best. Uh, Adam from VintageSealingFans.com has uh, said he's going to send me a three bladed 48 inch tat, which would be pretty cool because we don't have anything tat anywhere here. But, um,. We'll see when we get there. If enough people like this one, it could stay. Or if anybody has any better suggestions, I'm open to it. I mean, theoretically, I'm open to suggestions for the entire room, but I'm hoping to keep the Air Master. At this point, basically, I really like both fans in this room, but I don't like them together. So. And they're both wired to this four speed control here on the ceiling. <clears throat> we uh, took down the drop ceiling to give us some more storage space and in turn removed the fluorescent lights. And uh, since we were doing it quickly and it's a storage room that likely very few people will see, I didn't change any of the wiring. I left all the existing wiring and just used the wiring that went to the old fluorescent lights to go to the new fluorescent lights and the fans and used the... Uh, same outlet boxes that were up there. I didn't move them or add anything or anything. Um, so pretty much all I did was swap the lights and add the fans using the existing wiring and then put the fan control right there on the outlet box. And uh, unless we do any drastic changes to this room, I assume it'll stay that way. So this is the low speed. And you have to go up here on the control. Now we're going to have medium low. See if I can get both fans in the same shot there. It's interesting that the Leslie Lock goes slower on low than the Air Master, but faster on medium low. Now we have medium or medium high depending on how you label your controls. Once again, the Leslie Lock is faster, although the Air Master does take a little bit of time to get up to speed. And I can feel a breeze even out here. I'm standing in the doorway so I can get a shot with both fans, but even in the doorway I feel some air moving. Okay, and now we have high. If 
feel quite a bit of air moving out here. I cleaned up the Air Master a little bit more so than I did for its installation in the panel room. Alright, let's cut the power. I can tell you from past experiences with the Air Master, I'm sure it'll be the last one to spin down because, uh, as we discovered in the panel room, it just has a incredibly long spin down time, which I'm sure is in part due to the plastic blades, which are heavier, and in part due to uh, the bearings, which are freshly oiled. This uh, Leslie Lock actually came out of a uh, local bakery called Ovens of Brittany. They had two locations. One location had the uh, Key Largo ceiling fan that I loved as a child and have still been looking for. To this day, I've never found that exact version. Um, if we have time in the video, I'll describe that version. The other location which was much larger and just had a huge ceiling. I had this fan in the center of it. it looked very small compared to the ceiling, which is at least 20 feet, and it was a huge room, you know, bigger than any of the banquet rooms here, I think. It had a balcony and everything, and just the one fan. And, uh, I didn't see that fan until I was either an adult or pretty close to being an adult. So these Leslie Locks are not necessarily a childhood fan for me in that regard actually. The brown one that I have is the first you know spinner, industrial type spinner with wood blades that I've ever found. I found that as a kid but I actually found it before I'd seen one. <clears throat> but anyhow this fan was in there, that location and both locations closed down. That location was uh, last to close down. And uh, I thought about uh, trying to get the fan and never followed up on it. And then, like a week later, I was at the Habitat store. This was, I think, before I volunteered there. And uh, there it was. And I recognized it as being the exact same one. Had some scuff marks and things like that that were pretty distinctive. It's the first time I've ever had it hanging. It's been over 10 years that I've had it and never put it together before, so. Actually, come to think of it, I think I did put it together. I think I was going to put it in my fan shop and then I decided that the classic concepts fit better. Poor thing, it's probably going to get replaced here too. Well, let's do a close up on the Leslie Lock since I uh, haven't had its own video before. So, I think these are particularly cool, largely because of the shape of the blades. It's a very oddly shaped blade. If the pitch was a little bit steeper, I think they'd uh, look even cooler. It certainly wouldn't hurt. They spin very fast. Okay, well there you have it. So post any questions, comments, 
suggestions, anything you might have, and uh, I will uh, do another video if I replace either of the fans. Otherwise, they'll show up in the next tour.